Hello, 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 beautiful people. TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We're going to jump into this collectively. Y'all come on in, get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and be comfortable because we about to make it do what it do now, okay? What is the message for the collective at this time? What do they need to know for the greatest and highest being? Let's see, babies, what you need to know right now. Okay, so somebody's been suffering in silence here. This could be you or someone around you. But I feel like that's coming to an end with this nine. Yeah, someone's dealing with some type of emotional loss here. And they've been suffering in silence. This could have to do with a love connection. Could have to do... With your finances here. But we do have a change coming here. Material and spiritual prosperity. After a period of suffering and sauce. sauce excuse me. After a period of suffering and silence. And dealing with emotional loss. Yes. Yeah, Spirit says. Continue to have hope. Don't lose faith. Okay. Things are going to change here in your favor. And you also have love beginning. So this could be. Um. A brand new love connection coming. This could be healing in the love connection you're already in. This could also be your material and spiritual wealth coming. Yeah, you have brand new beginnings coming in here, collective. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> a lot of healing with your heart chakra and your crown chakra. So, connecting the spirit, healing things from your past, getting a spiritual... <laughs> Look, I was going to say a spiritual um upgrade. And then we got triumphal success. So brand new beginnings. And you're going to have a triumphal success in this brand new beginning here for you collective. This deck. Clarify this suffering and silence for the collective here. Five of Swords. Yeah, there was a lot of chaos, a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. You could have felt defeated in the past. You could have dealt with some type of huge loss. Okay? You could have walked away from a connection, felt threatened or attacked. Some of you guys could have been in some type of aggressive or violent situation. Some of you guys could have been dealing with um, someone that was abusive, that was a bully, that was violent towards you here. But there is a change coming here, for sure. So if I suffering in silence, yeah, somebody could have put you in a third party. They could have been given to more than one. I do feel like things were not balanced. Could I find this um, emotional loss here? The Empress, yeah, so I feel like this is you collective, whether you are a man or a woman, I just feel like you're in this feminine energy. The woman in power, queen of all queens, everyone admires you, fertility, nurturing, the divine feminine energy. You're the one who has been healing from this loss, okay? Your divine masculine could have put you in conflict, put you in competition, put you in situations that they were given to more than just you, given to everything else besides you caused you a lot of hurt here and i feel like you've healed from this you may have suffered in silence but you have healed from this if i emotional loss yeah king of pentacles you could have felt like this person was a dependable role model for a lot of you guys this could be your husband your boyfriend someone you were in a long-term committed relationship with someone you felt was supposed to be a, a provider a role model here Someone who was supposed to be hardworking, a successful individual. And instead they put you in chaos. They put you in competition. They put you in third party situations. And I feel like you walked away from this situation. It, it caused you a lot of hurt. You had to make the change. You put an ending to this. And now you're finna walk into a brand new passionate beginning here, babies this ace of wands you're also watching walking into material and spiritual prosperity 
You got a brand new beginning. Clarify material and spiritual prosperity here. Yeah, you're going to walk into a brand new connection here. Happiness, celebration, and love coming together, building a solid foundation, having support from others and bonding, being a team player, and feeling secure. A happy atmosphere and relaxation is headed your way, honeys. After healing from this emotional loss, after suffering in silence, after being trapped in your own fear, in your own head, releasing that fear and moving forward here. Give me one more for material and spiritual prosperity. Yeah. This judgment here came out crossing across this third party situation, this chaos and drama. Judge for one's actions and choices. Higher inner calling purpose. Checking oneself and self-evaluation. Reincarnation and rebirth of a new self. A call of action and the end of an era. You putting the end to being a party to competition, drama, third parties. You're moving forward and judgment is in your favor. The person that put you in these third party situations, they are dealing with karma right now. As well as you. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like your karma is good karma here. You're moving forward. You have a brand new beginning. And you're walking into some type of relationship here. Now, whether this is you healing the connection with this person in the past or you're walking to a brand new connection that leads to marriage, that leads to something long term, there is healing here for you, honeys. Spirit says, having faith that brings hope and inspiration, renewal of oneself, spiritual healing and rejuvenation, healing from past wounds and finding a higher purpose in life. This is where you're headed. I have Taurus, Aquarius. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Oh, Leo, Aries, Sag as well, babies. Yeah. You have a soulmate connection here. Or somebody from your past is returning. Someone from your childhood. With this Six of Cups. 